Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to share with you another um, die set from um, the September release from Scrap David Designs. Great, great, great release. Love everything about it. It's a big release and there's so many fun dies. So I um, hope you guys enjoy what I'm going to share with you today. This one is called the Ghost Tags. Love this die. It's probably my favorite one so far that I've worked with. <laughs> so you get the two tags. They have this kind of roughly in, you know, like a, you know, like the ghost. And they do mirror each other. So you can, um, you know, cut two pieces out and then, you know, back them and they will line up perfectly. That way you can get, you know, um, sturdiness and that kind of stuff just by doing it like twice. So... There's those two, and then it comes with all these words. So we got trick, candy, eek, scary, treat, and boo. So, and I love it that all these words, the, these words, all the letters are connected. So you don't have to piece together letters. So I always love that. So that is the die set. Um, let me share with you um, Scrap Diva's um, information. There's the website, scrapdivadesigns.com. Okay. There's all of our social media. I will link everything um, below. So let me share with you. This is the first one I made. So cute. So this one's on gl white glitter. And then I sandwiched a little bit of uh, light pink uh, tulle in between the two layers. I tied like a little, um, you know, like a little uh, belt around the center with the pink and white um, Baker's Twine, and then these uh, these eyes and nose are, or eyes and mouth, are from um, ooh, the Bunny uh, mini album from Scrap Diva also. Okay, this hat is from a set that was that I just had in my stash. Then I attached this tiny little bow, and then I um, put a piece of chain and this tiny little bead that I thought looked really cute hanging from hanging from the hat so love it so there is one that I created I shared this one on my Instagram you might have saw it so there's that one so this one is using the word candy so this one I just cut out up two different colors of pinks and layered them up I have the word candy and then this is the double loop bow from scrap diva love this I just bought this like a couple weeks ago because I love that bow and I didn't have it and then um, just a tiny little piece of candy. So just a real simple little tag. So there's that one. Um, this one I used the word trick and I cut it out of uh, th this black with uh, silver glitter. And then this is black and white glittered um, cardstock that I had in my, in my stash. And then these uh, bones are from Hmm, it's from one of the sets, you know, one of the extra little pieces from the set. I'm trying to remember which one. Um, I think it's the the po uh, poison bottles. So I cut them out of um, orange cardstock and then some um, foam. So I, then I just kind of layered them up there, tied some cute little um, just pink uh, seam binding on the, on the top. And then I also did the back, so the back has treat. So that's what's neat about these two, when they, um, you can decorate both sides and they layer up perfectly. So you can, as it dangles, you know, you'll be able to have it, to have it decorated on both sides. So love that one. Okay, then I did this one, a simple one also. This is kind of some pattern paper. This is the word scary. And then um, I just tied uh, black and orange and black and white. Uh, Baker's tie twine on the top of that in a bow and then on the back we have the plain orange and then the word scary let's see did I yeah I did scary on both sides so look how cute that is so there's that one okay and then I did this cute one too so this one's on the white glitter again this one's on foam just for dimension um, I this one has the word eek I did a black and then some foam underneath this little spider came with um, one of the other sets in the in this release, I can't remember which one now. Um, 
that's the thing with Erica's die. She always gives lots of little extra pieces. So they come in real handy for embellishing and, and, and using, you know, with along with all the different sets. Um, I just put a little cute little orange flower there. I think I told you this is up on foam. So it's a spider. Um, this one has the white on the back also. And then I took some of this cute little um, pink little tinsel um, trim that I had in my stash and I layered it in between there again. Okay, and then some black and white striped ribbon I tied here and then tied some um, seam binding again on the top. So I love that one also. And then lastly, I made this one. So this one, I made a shaker. So I used, um, I love using micro beads. So they're way tinier than um, seed beads. You can see them in there, see them all rolling around. So these are a little orange color. And so um, how I made this a shaker was I cut out, um, so I got my layer on the back and then here's my top layer. And I took the word and laid it on there um, on the black paper, cut the word out. And then I put back in the little, you know, the O, oh, the, these little pieces that, you know, so you could see the word good. And then I did the same thing on a foam piece. So I cut the word out in the foam and then I just layered them all together, you know, put a piece of acetate behind this black piece on top of the foam. Okay. I didn't attach a, a ribbon or anything on top of this one, but okay. And then this is a little skull again. It's from another, that's from the poison, um, poison shaker bottles. So use that as a little embellishment right there. And then I put one of these tiny little bows that my friend Deborah made me. Thank you, Deborah. I use the heck out of these things. I love these tiny little bows that she makes. Um, so that is that. So that's how that one looks. So even though you don't get the pieces to, you know, to make a shaker, you can still do a shaker. So anyway, I think that turned out really cute. So those are my cute little um, ghost tags. Like I say, it's one of my favorite um, sets from the whole release. So it'll come in super handy. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Which is your favorite? My favorite's this one. And then secondly, um, I think this one with the shaker. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. Like I said, I will list um, the website. I will list my affiliate link. If you guys decide to um, purchase anything, if you use that affiliate link, it gives me a little um, share from the purchase and it doesn't cost you any more to use that. Um, and then also be sure to use my code POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10. Um, to give yourself 10% off at checkout if you decide to purchase anything. Fun, fun release. So you're going to want to snatch these up. Things are selling out fast. So anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Um, and I'll be back soon with the next project share. Bye.